So you're working with a raster image that you want to convert into a vector um, file and you kind of want to figure out how to make it so that all the vector lines are uh, at 180 or 90 degrees, otherwise known as orthogonal angles. Um, there are a couple of ways to do that. Uh, I'll be showing you uh, three things that you can tweak when it comes to working with scan to CAD settings to ensure that your output vectors have orthogonal lines. Uh, so we have a raster PDF opened up here. As you can see, the scan was a little askew. So um, with any automatic conversion process, the most important factor that determines the quality of the output is always going to be the quality of the uh, initial raster image that you're working with. So before we uh, tweak the settings to edit the output vectors to try to fix up the raster image uh, before we convert. Um, so one thing we, we can do to maybe correct this uh, askew angle is to click on edit here and then click on rotate. I think this is just a couple of angles off so I'm going to um, use small increments first and then try to see how that fixes the image. Um, we want to rotate it counterclockwise, so I'm going to go negative angles here. So let's start with something small, negative one maybe. Uh, that fixes it a little bit, but it's still not quite there. I'm going to apply it again. And I think, I think that's just about right. Yeah, yeah, that looks pretty straight to me. So I'm going to click on close here. Uh, we can take the, our time and erase some of these black edges that formed. Click on Erase here. And then just clean up the edges a little bit. The cleaner and neater the original raster image, the better the output's going to be. So we can take our time here. Clean up the image as much as we can. Okay, um, now that that's done, let's convert it. And I can show you the two other methods to make sure that your lines are orthogonal. Um, first thing first, uh, let's clean up the image a little bit so that it's not that pixelated. I'm going to click on threshold black and white so the lines aren't picked up. So I'm going to increase the level a little bit. Okay, that should be good. Um, some of the lines are a little jagged, so I'm going to click on smooth for good measure. Actually, I think it looks better without it, so I'm going to untick that. Now we can click on OK, and now with that, we can click on Convert Raster Image. In this case, I want to go with Vectorize and OCR, because there are text objects I want to convert. Um, for the object, uh, no, rather, for the line tolerance, this is another way that you can make sure that your lines are orthogonal. Um, under Line Tolerance Settings, there's something called Orthogonal Snap, so by default it's going to be ticked, so just you just want to double check that this is indeed ticked off. Um, what it does is any lines that are within 8 degrees of 180 and 90 degrees, so that's 172 to 188 as well as 82 to 98 degrees will get snapped to 180 and 90 degrees respectively. So make sure that that's ticked. You can even have some other angles here that you want to that you might want to tick, but by default it's just going to be orthogonal. So now we have made sure that that's ticked. Let's click on Run to generate a preview. And that's a pretty clean conversion, I think. So um, let's click on OK to finalize the things. Um, the last uh, method to create uh, orthogonal vector lines is um, actually Sorry, I, I, I forgot to convert these vertical text. So I'm going to go ahead and close this file first. It's going to be really quick. Go back to the convert raster image. Uh, vectorize an OCR. Make sure that this is ticked. And then the OCR tab, I'm just going to click on vertical here. Click on run. So by default, it's not going to be ticked. So you're going to want to check that. Okay, that looks better. That's converted now. Okay. Um, so where was I? Yes, um, the last method to make sure that uh, to make vec vector lines that are orthogonal 
is to simply use the draw line while you're on the vector tab. So you can click on draw line tool here. Um, you can click and drag, but it isn't orthogonal by default. What you can do, I'm going to go ahead and erase this again, is while you're um, selecting the draw line tool, go here to the right side of the interface and click on orthogonal snap. So what happens now is when you draw a line, it's automatically going to snap to 80 to 190 degree angles. So um, let's say I want to add a little line here at the corner. I'm also going to click on snap to endpoint so that it snaps to this corner endpoint. Click somewhere in the vicinity and then as you can see it's now producing orthogonal lines. So you can do that to manually edit any of these vector lines. I'm just going to go ahead and erase some of these uh, the ones that we made. So um, those are the three methods. Uh, to recap, uh, first is once you're working with a raster image, you can click on the edit and then rotate tool and then just rotate it by specific instruments, uh, increments rather. Uh, second is when you're converting it, you can make sure that the line tolerance option has the orthogonal snap um, functionality ticked on. And the third is when you're already working with a vector file, you can produce lines and you just have to make sure that orthogonal snap is ticked on here. So you produce orthogonal lines. So after that, it's just a matter of clicking on export in the upper right, choosing the file format you want to use. By default, it's DXF. You can choose DWG or G-code, and then just naming it whatever you want to name it. And then clicking on Save, and then OK. So it's as simple as that. Um, you can experiment with uh, a mix. Uh, you can mix and match with these different uh, orthogonal line options, try to figure out the best way to produce the best results. Um, and that should be quite an easy task for most um, images that you work with using Scantacat.